5 things you probably didn't know about the Renegade line. Number 1. Did you know that the first Renegade line map that we could play, named Woodpecker Valley, had actually a snow version of the map, but we never got a chance to play it since it was right deleted after the alpha. You can see some of the maps still in one of their videos. The map Woodpecker Valley will be redesigned to a whole new level, but it will take a lot of time, so it probably won't come in the Renegade line beta. Actually, Woodpecker Valley was not the first Renegade line map ever made. There was a pre-alpha map without a name, and we never have seen some updates about it for a long time. It was probably just a map for testing though, so the first map ever made was the one without a name. But the first playable map was Woodpecker Valley. Number 2. The sniper had once an ability written down on a kickstarter called Chameleon, that means that he can go invisible or adapts the colors of the character to the ones of the environment. Much later, on the new post Friday hashtag 11, they updated some abilities and now the Chameleon moved on the Thief class instead of the Sniper, so that's why they added Smokescreen as a replacement, so you can still hide from your enemies. Number 3. On the beginning of Renegade Line Alpha weekend, there were a lot of fun bugs, such as you could walk on the water and not get hit. Overpowered, right? You also had Shockwave that was similar to Blessing Strike, but when you activated, the blast was so powerful that your enemy flew to the sky or out of the map if you had two persons doing it. It was like a level 20 Shockwave to me. It was so damn powerful. It was very funny at that time. There was also an ability called Recoil Bullets on your tank. That means if you shoot somebody with it, you knock them back. But it was so powerful just as the shockwave, so when you shot somebody, he flew to the other side of the map and instantly died. What? <laughs> Number 4. If you go to the Renegade Line website and you press on Community and then Search Player, you can type the name of the player you have in mind. And when you press on Search, it says the profile pages are currently unavailable. They will be published once any game statics are being tracked. But if you look in your search bar above you, you can see your number when you made your account. For example, Raw Vengeance Danny has number 2 because he was one of the first people that made a Renegade Line account on the website. Another funny fact, my number is 112 and that is our police number in the Netherlands. Number 5. We can actually play two maps in the upcoming beta version of Renegade Line. The first map that a lot of us already know about is the map Italy. We have seen a lot of this map already and there is also a video made about that map. And they showed us some things from the Italy map in our Twitch stream. But we don't know a thing about the second one. It could be a big place or a small one like Italy itself. It makes a lot of more sense if it's a big place so we have two different map sizes. Since they said that Woodpecker Valley will probably not be in beta, we are sure that it will not be the second map. So guys, there was my 5 things you probably didn't know about Renegade Line. It is a new thing I want to keep doing on this channel when there are a lot of more updates, small things that you can easily miss. That's why I decided to start a series about this. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you learned some new things as well. If you did, please leave a comment, like and subscribe for more updates about Renegade Line. Thanks as always and I will see you next time.